these uh, celebrities have in common? Can you guess? Nice smiles? No. As well as being rich and successful, they are also vegan. And that means they don't eat meat, dairy, eggs or seafood. And it seems the diet is growing in popularity here as well. It's thought that more than half a million people in Britain are now vegan. That's a huge rise from just 150,000 a decade ago. A new figure show one in five people would consider trying to be vegan. But nearly half of those surveyed worry that they enjoy meat and dairy just too much to give it up. So so could you do it? And can you be vegan and stay healthy at the same time? With me now is Laura Scott, who's an ultra endurance cyclist and a vegan. And alongside her is nutritionist May Simpkin. Good to see you both. Um, is it easy, Laura? It's a lot easier than I think people expect it to be. I think once you get used to the foods that you can buy as sort of convenience foods, um, it, it becomes a quick and easy sort of habit to develop. Because you came to it from being vegetarian from, you know, day one anyway, so you didn't have to worry about meat. But what kind of things did you then have to give up going from vegetarian to vegan? I think cheese, as most people will probably admit, is the hard one to give up. Um, it, for me, it took about a month to sort of get used to not putting cheese, especially as a vegetarian. That's sort of often what you'll find in restaurants. They'll use as the alternative to meat. And so once I got used to finding other things to replace cheese with, um, like tofu and legumes and lentils, I started to enjoy food a lot more and, yeah, I didn't miss it anymore. And, and the other thing is you are an ultra-endurance cyclist. You're an athlete. So, I mean, in some ways, is it easier? Because being an athlete, you have to look at your diet, whatever you're consuming anyway, whether you're getting your protein from meat or somewhere else. Exactly. So I think in some ways that was a benefit to me because I do take into consideration quite carefully what I eat to make sure I am getting all the nutrition um, and vitamins uh, in sort of a balanced way. Um, as an athlete, I think that probably means that I, I do put a little bit more time and thought into that. So it wasn't as hard a jump for me when I became vegan to sort of be like, am I getting enough protein? Am I getting the carbs I need to give me the energy to be, you know, to perform on my bike? Clearly, Laura's a bit different to the rest of us then, May. But <laughs> if people are considering changing their diet in some way, and we hear about meat-free Mondays for people who ordinarily eat meat, sort of giving it a, a breather on a Monday, what do you think are the potential pitfalls that they should avoid? Well, I think, as Laura said, you really do have to be a lot more considered um, when you're a vegan. I always advise my clients, you need to actually become a bit of a foodie. You've got to think about everything you eat so that really everything you're eating counts nutritionally. And if it does, it's perfectly possible to have a healthy diet as a vegan. Because there are plenty of processed foods, aren't there, that are sold as being vegan friendly. Yeah. Uh, is it wise to start eating more of those to get rid of the other stuff? They are processed. So, you know, I would prefer that you actually make choices of foods like beans and legumes and nuts and seeds and obviously vegetables um, that are just naturally vegan um, rather than a processed alternative of something that's trying to be, you know, meat or something like that because it is processed. So it's going to have its shortfalls. Learn how to cook with them. Here's, here's the other thing, Laura. It's one thing learning about these foods effects on you, but what about their effects on the environment? And a lot of people who are trying to cut out dairy will go to a different kind of milk, almond milk, for example. But then that has a big impact on, on the planet because it uses so much water. Avocado is the same. So do you think about those kind of things? Yeah, I mean, for me, a large part of why I'm vegan is the environmental impact that the food we eat has on the planet. So for me personally, almond milk wouldn't be my preference. I tend to pick things like oat milk or soy milk. Okay. Um, as They're a pricey preference. though, aren't they? Isn't it a bit more expensive? <laughs> Yeah, but I think for me, it's, you know, it's worth the expense. Um, and then what you pay more in for a oat milk, for example, okay. you save in the rest of your diet. I mean, buying some mushrooms and quinoa for dinner is a lot cheaper than buying a steak. Yeah, you'll have to give me that recipe. <laughs> Thank you both very much indeed. Thank Good to see you.